Hi everybody, you're here with Sandra and Sarah for Sandra's summer road trip. So we are not going too far today and Sarah's going to tell you where we are somewhere very close to our heart. So today we're going to show you around uh, Baba Fay and Stranorler and I think this is our wee gem. Yeah. Um, so it's we're really very... important. You're always asking about um, the hotels and you know, you know for the summer as well, you know, there's if you book into the hotel, you're, you get your veil of 10% off in store. So that's running for another couple of weeks. So it's really important that we get this video out now. We're always going around the whole of Donegal, but obviously we can't forget about that gem. No, and said, we're uh, so excited. Oh my God, calm. Richard, Richard. So this is, we're literally outside work. So Richard has just past us so we've got Richard oh. hi Richard so Richard's our creative designer that was weird that we managed to get that so um, this <laughs> so we're on our summer road trip we are going not too far as you can see we're going to sit in the car park uh, so actually Richie's just installed like a really and Catherine sorry Catherine but a really exciting window today um and I think that's something really special about the store that we really need to talk about so we're very lucky to be involved with the LIT um, Fashion Student of the Year. We sponsor the award and have done for a few years now. Um, and this year's our first year actually giving an award to both the level seven and the level eight students. And the caliber of work has just been phenomenal. Like every year we kind of think to ourselves like it, it can't get even better. And every year it gets better and better and better. Just the work they're doing there is amazing. And the fact that it's coming out of Donegal is absolutely fantastic. It would make you proud. Um, to, to, to see yeah. it um, and this year Marguerite and Debbie has been uh, like amazing. absolutely blown away the stories behind the their collection as well is phenomenal so just to have it presented in the window now is great and just, just to really get to show off the work and the the design and everything that's going on here in Donegal it's just really exciting and I think like, the stories behind it is so inspirational yeah. mm -hmm. like it just moves you and like I think like as you say it just makes you so proud to see like I would buy and wear every single piece that's in I the window I definitely would too and um, I actually can't wait to show everybody the window yeah. in I general mean, such a it's all the staff leaving now <laughs> It's all the stuff. <laughs> and they're actually like one of them. One of them. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, you're right. And thanks to Richie and Catherine and the marketing team and the creative team for really supporting that. It's a couple of years, as you said, Richie. Yeah, and, and even Sharon at the IT. I think, Sharon is well. amazing. Like, yes. Amazing. Like, the work yeah. with some of the students is just phenomenal. And um, just to even ask us to be a part of it again is mm -hmm. just unreal. We'll show you, we'll actually go by the shop and show you the windows. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. um, the summer campaign is actually in the other one, um, and we can actually maybe attach the campaign too. Mm -hmm. As you see, Mega Honey's everything we do is in house. Um, every single thing you see with Mega Honey's name attached to it is done in house. So it's it's it is it's people like Sarah Ritchie, Ruth Neve, and Clive and the creative team and all the staff. Everything you see. That is one of our blessings that I think that's why Donegal is certainly on the move there. The spotlight is there. There is just so many creative people in Donegal and I finally feel that it is coming to light. So watch this space. We yeah. need to get on the road. I was just going to say because we hotels look, are looking for us. We're literally them two people that are talking to their phone in the car park. And there's probably some of you going where they just get on with it. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 so yeah, right. Let's go. Thank you. All right. right. See you later. Bye. See you tomorrow. Enjoy. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Firstly, what we wanted to show you where we currently are standing is actually just above the River Finn, as you can see behind us here. Um, we wanted to take you to Drumbo Woods. This is just, it's a part of Bobby that's just full of history. And I think anybody from Donegal or the Shining Areas will know it really well. But I think it's just something that when you do come and you, if you do stay in the Villa Roads or Jackson's or Keys, that this is somewhere, it's literally less than 500 yards from the shop and yeah. it's just literally as you can see behind us here is Jackson's Hotel um, so it's so central to that and it's a lovely hour long walk it takes you the whole way around the river and takes you back up over here there's a whole trail that you can follow but now through but now you're walk but now yeah. walk yeah. Yeah. and yeah. actually just over here to the right is the ruins of Drumbo Castle mm -hmm. so it's just the history attached is just amazing and it's not something that you get in every no it's certainly where... a hidden duty for the town Stenorler and um uh, Balma Fay and to say a lot of the staff their local be really it's really important for us to point it out because you know it is 
literally as Sarah said, it's literally just a stone throw from the store. Um, a lot of the staff use this as they're walking, they're running routes, or little kids are coming yeah. in the store. They're all coming in the store after the woods. A lot of events happen around here in normal times. And the, the um, Chamber of Commerce as well would be very immersed in activities around here and promoting that. So it, it's very important for us yeah. to do that. It's just, it's such a lovely, lovely walk. But now we are going to take you to somewhere that a lot of um, people may have stayed and may not, but it's definitely somewhere that you should see this summer. Mm -hmm. So let's go to our next stop. Yeah. Um, this is Jackson's Hotel. So mm -hmm. we'll just drive around here now and we'll show you the front. Um, Every rep who ever came and stayed in McElhenney's yes, from day actually, one stayed in Jackson's, Jackson's Hotel. And they used to have a disco and everybody's going to be able to um, remember that the circus used to be called the 21 Club on a Tuesday night. Yeah. And um, you had to get to the and it was always uh, a school night. I was um, always in and trouble. And they for actually one. done a revival um, a few it was years just ago. Just before COVID, remember? Yeah. yeah. So um, that's Jackson's beautiful, beautiful old yeah. family run, uh, just steeped in memories for local families and, uh, and i think all right. like even like when we go by and now the reps still talk so it's a new fondly. extension there now um you're so right about that like, <laughs> they do. i think every single person has a story from us yeah um so it's so exciting so where we're actually coming into now is so how close the two hotels are is this is actually the villa rose mm -hmm. so um this is such I think anybody that has come to Donegal for a weddings or a few weddings, you have been to Villa Rose for a wedding and if you're lucky enough to have experienced it, it is just amazing. Two suites. This is beautiful. Oh my god, it's amazing. We're not sitting all the beds are going to sit. Uh, look at this. <laughs> oh. It is. The bath. Sarah's a thing about bathrooms. I know. Oh. Both feet. Oh my god, look at this. This is fab. So good. So, this is one of the suites. This is. This is one of our two suites. Beautiful. And this books out, doesn't it? It does. So, it's hard to man. Yeah, and would this be like a bridal suite? This is our bridal suite, so yeah. two of the same. Two of the Fantastic, same Fantastic, isn't it? It's Monday to Sunday, this is booked out. Is it, Leona? Yeah, it is, it's great. So many people have missed their special occasions. Aye. And you know, as soon as we opened, it was just sweets. Everyone wanted special occasions upgrades. Yeah, yeah. everybody just wants to treat themselves. Just to treat themselves because it's been so long. Yeah. yeah. And the treat yourself excuse is just. 100%. So Leona, obviously we've been working very closely for years together mm -hmm. with the, with um, obviously the store just down the street. A hundred steps wouldn't yeah. even take it. Um, so you know, your customer come here, they stay, they come mm -hmm. and shop and Honey's. Yeah. You've promoted. You have a new campaign running. Um, what is the re re retail rest and relax. Re yeah, retail and relax. <laughs> Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Michael Hennies has been a huge draw for the prior few years, as everyone knows. But the hotel, the spa aspect, just complements so nicely what Michael Hennies has to offer. And I think we cater to a very similar market. Yes. You know, and so to have Michael Hennies on the doorstep for our customers is such a bonus. Yeah. You know, you're not going to a big city. You have the whole Donegal, the village fee, but you have you know the shopping on the doorstep, and the whole spa aspect are just really nicely compliment the girl you'll get away and even local us like local people we we book in here ourselves to go to the spa, the spa. and the spa is <laughs> heaven and you know we're gonna we'll see the restaurant and that later but it's it's such a popular venue even for day trippers isn't it That's and it. you know to go to the spa and then they come over there and they're always their hair up in top knots and their yeah. face is clean because they've had a nice facial here and it's just a lovely day trip even if people can't because you are booked, you are booked out, aren't you? You're nearly We're booked. booked. Now there's there's still the gaps there, but we're yeah. definitely booked. And you know, it's everything from date night, couples getting away, the girls reuniting. You know, after having yeah. been split up for so long, um, 
people are just looking to catch up and you know with a whole new cocktail menu just uh -huh. to serve us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm letting me like it. Yeah. Yeah. She's yeah. going to be looking to book on there when you see Sarah's Sarah's. Because yeah. uh, I think like what you're saying, it's literally, it just describes everything. But it's just people must people. I know. Yeah. Then, like that's literally, and they're just getting the chance to reunite under sheer luxury. <laughs> so would you just say they're girls reuniting? That's beautiful. It's just isn't it? so, yeah. isn't it? Like our Cause my own friendship group's the same. Like we're all over Ireland. Yeah. And like in um two weeks time, it's the first time we'll all be together in that part like fifteen months, mm. sixteen wow. months. Yeah. That's it. And so many friend groups are the same. Yeah. Do you know? And until everyone feels safe to come yeah. away together, and now you know things are finally lifting. Thank and God. The phones ring in, and the girls are trying to coordinate with each other. And there's yeah. babysitters involved, but um, yeah. once they come through the doors, they're just so happy to be somewhere you know like this yeah and they're so happy to be together and the laughs out of the forge i would yeah. say <laughs> yeah i i love it leona as a hotel one of the top i mean we used to always baff well we weren't baffled we knew but these were sold out for weddings like yeah. years in advance so obviously COVID hit yeah i mean the i mean how could you begin to explain the effect that that had on you guys do you know what our priority, you know, Karina and the team, yes. was just to let the bride and grooms know we would work with them in whatever way we could, yeah. um, and that we would be here whether the numbers were 6, 25, 50, 100, and that we would just work with them. And I think when they have that confidence that they know, right, we're going to, you know, your day is going to be just as special regardless of the numbers, yeah. or if you feel like you're faring, you know, we're there for you. And it's such an important day. Mm -hmm. um but now thankfully you know inquiries are as popular as ever but people are still getting engaged and they're still wanting to do yeah. the virtual viewing you know now they can come in and see what we have to offer it's just been it's been a strange 15 months but yeah. do you know the demand is still there and do you know even like we we took the opportunity to do up our honeymoon suite yes they're beautiful do you know it was that chance to refresh things and and i suppose that's top what tommy's always been known for is it is that you know when everybody else is panicking closed yeah. down he's probably like john in that sense yeah they are they become actually more innovative than ever exactly they don't rest in their laurels and yeah like, you know how can i innovate and how can i make this the product better and you know tommy has that confidence um and he's always reinvesting in the properties and mm -hmm. you know it's just it's so nice to work in a place that continue to reinvest and you know when you have confidence in what you're selling yeah and just on that so you obviously have a new a new baby in the a family baby, yeah <laughs> so tell us about that yeah so in Kirch um like in the heart of Woodor it's a beautiful property and Tommy Bridget and the family they're so excited to take it on and um they just I don't know when they talk about it they just the potential that's in it mm -hmm. um they have the experience of here about the fate the two hotels Building yeah. here from scratch, and um, they're so excited to just to see what the summer unfolds. Yeah. You know, see how it unfolds. I I, I think it's absolutely brilliant. I, I love it because that is a beautiful part of the world, yeah. Ergil at its doorstep, and you know Donegal, as we said, and we've really identified throughout yeah. this tour as you know there's so much potential, and Donegal has been a little bit forgotten in the yeah. past. And I think, I think those. I think we've we're oh, making we're enough not, noise. Yeah. We've times. stood for long enough now to say, hang on a minute. Yeah. And we were saying earlier, um, Richie got into the car earlier with us, and we're just saying, the talent, yeah. and the skills and the natural abilities of so many people from Donegal is finally being yeah. seen and heard, and it's paying off. Big time. And I think COVID did that. You know, yeah. I think COVID, obviously the every it was a pandemic it's a disaster yeah however with every disaster is opportunity and i think for our county and you know neighboring counties because we're so close to the border obviously that's it, that's it. um it's it's great to see that yeah. shine so i just it's it, just it's really exciting for the future like there's is. so much to come and it's so it. exciting and like that when wonder closes many more open yeah and that's it the staycation market yeah for people here that you know, would have never considered Donegal. Never in a minute, no. Even people from within Donegal, mm -hmm. travelling, staying That's right. Do you know, you could be anywhere in Ireland, yeah. you know, when you come through the doors of the hotels, when you come through the doors of Michael Henry's, you could be anywhere. You yeah. could. Do you know, and then you get the genuine Donegal hospitality on top of that, yeah. which, do you know. That can't be faked. <laughs> no, definitely can't, not. We said that when was the other day in all our time. That can't be faked. No. You, 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 nobody can do it like no. it's, you know. 
Definitely not. Definitely and we're obsessed not. with our customers, as yeah. the same as, and I think yeah. everywhere we go in Dunning, we're so glad to see yeah, people. Yeah, you don't take them for granted. No, you really for sure. don't. Um, so, yeah, we're looking forward to a busy summer ahead. And here in Jackson's for the family market, Jackson's had a Facebook out the front as well, and it's looking really well. And, and it's been past it there, we showed it in the video, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, as we were saying, do you remember, like every rep in Arbor came to um, to John's, like whether it be Glenton Street yeah. or the original site. So every rep ever came remembers Jackson's Hotel fondly. Fondly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there's many the nights that, um, I say many, the 20, right? 21 club. club. Oh, oh my Which God. A hotel with a nightclub. <laughs> your night away from work should where would you get it where would yeah. you get it how business was ever done i don't know but exactly. it was exactly <laughs> but listen leona thank you so much i mean we work closely with you all the time but it's lovely for our followers to be able to see the hotel which is our neighbor it's a big part of us as McElhoney's. you know we work so closely together our customers are your customers yeah. um and vice versa and it just means so much for us here to show this beautiful hotel and this family run hotel which is the most important thing this is a family behind us just as it is with us family the retention of the staff speaks yeah. volumes and really that's what this is about showcasing that yeah. isn't it um but thank you so much thanks so much for coming in it's great to have you not at all it's it's so lovely and we're delighted as usual so oh, thank you thank you very much Um, I recognise you obviously from coming here, so tell everybody, um, so you've been working here how long? Uh, I'm here about a year and a half now at this stage, obviously uh, with the lockdowns and so on, we, uh, I haven't been here the full time, but uh, we're so excited to be back open again, um, it's great to be busy and uh, we're looking forward to a great summer ahead. Uh -huh, you're going to be busy? Very busy, yes, looking yeah, great, yeah. what we like to see. And what's the, your favourite part of the job? Uh, yeah. I love uh, just meeting different people and welcoming them and uh, seeing people coming in and leaving the place relaxed afterwards. Yeah, and we love it now to get your tourists back, won't it? Absolutely. You know, it's great that we're getting them, but it's even like there's so many of our followers living in Australia and Canada and that, and even the UK and Scotland, that, and they're just dying to get on that plane. Yeah, great. We're looking forward to welcoming you, everybody back. You are so right. Thank you so much. Not for at all. You're very welcome. Thank you. Like no joke on the side, side I have come over here in my lunch break or I maybe left early. Like I can't are completely <laughs> hot now. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> they see it doesn't feel like they're literally stone throw. No. Like no. I can totally detach myself. Yeah, back, it's all happening. And you feel like you're on holiday because there's loads of times you don't meet my friends would come every day. Yeah. Just off the main street and there's a little system down here. Yeah. 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 So private. And it is that thing where you could no matter where you were, you could come to the day, go for lunch. Yeah. And have like a really, really lovely day. Mm -hmm. And we get people come to the spa that would like that slightly more private yeah. spa experience. Yeah. And it's perfect for that. Aye. Ah, yeah. Perfect. This is amazing. So we have the location, we yeah. have the shop, and we have the cocktails for you. Yeah. We've got the spa, <laughs> and now we have the lovely yes. restaurant, like yeah. bar upstairs. It's exactly. quite pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Everything. Everything. Okay, so now we're in the bar. It's actually packed, you know, with so all so there's obviously all residents here. Um, and it, there's a beautiful vibe in it. We're going to try some cocktails. We're going to try some non-alcoholic cocktails. Um, and we just ask them to do whatever they want to make it up to be nice and surprised. So now um, we just took you up to show you Keys um, Hotel. So Keys is a family-run hotel that's in Stranorler so it's right beside Val Buffet like and um, the two towns are actually like twin towns for anybody that has never been here before and for anybody from Donegal you know it so well like Keys is one of those really quite like Villa Rose and 
um, Jackson. It's an established, family run, independent hotel and it, it's such a like it, it's nearly like quite a country feel mm -hmm. of a hotel. People love it? Keys. It's really, People really go to nice. Keys only like going to Keys because uh, they say that it's home from home. Oh, so exactly. it's real real cozy, um, little fires, little nooks and crannies. They're very famous for if anybody local you always used to go to Keys to get their their mashed potato. It was just and still is. They're very famous for that. So we actually have our Christmas party in here every year. Yeah. Um, Vicky, who is the daughter of the original owner and her brother run it and they have a great team in there. Um, it is, as I say, people who go to Keys love it and return year after year after year. As we go down here now, I have to do this. So when we did the video to launch our tour, I mentioned Shulls Park. So obvious, or I mentioned McCulls Park and I didn't mention Finn Harps Ground which all the boys at McElhoney's nearly took the head off me giving out saying you didn't mention Fun Harps is you mentioned McCullough's you didn't mention Fun Harps so just so you know on the other side of McElhoney's behind us we have the Fun Harps pit so for all our Donegal boys and all our McElhoney's boys and especially Tim who he nearly oh, I fell out with me I don't think he's ever missed he actually that, really think. nearly did fall out yeah. with me so now we brought you to Trust Club um, so this is about five and a half kilometres um, just outside of the town. Uh, so, as you can see, it's also just stunning. It's steeped in history, so yeah. there's a lot of history about this spot. Um, the Historical Society here in town um, have done a lot of work and done a big bit of work there. Um, just in the beginning of June, um, there's, a, there's a story, you'll find it on their um, website, about um, a story about a local guy um, during the we were yeah. the army and the war and the ambush. There's a and lot of um, there's a lot of history here, um, and it's just generally it's a very peaceful, peaceful place it's for really the locals. Lovely. And like, even for the kids, like just you can see the dogs. So it's just nice to bring a little bit yeah. of the local, you know, what happened here in Balbuffet and Stenorler. When you come and visit us, there's lots to see and do. Obviously, the most important is coming to us then. Having um, your cocktails, your spas, your country walks, walks. your walks around the lakes, feet the ducks. It's just a beautiful place. It's just really world. important for us to show you our gem. So we literally and I have just um, left the Villa Rose. And we are literally going to take you down our street, our yeah. main street. Um, so obviously this is our store. Yeah. So this is Michael Hennies. So this is this. Yeah. This is our gem. It is our gem. And then this is the window that Richie was telling you about there. This is all this the LYT fashion um, winners. That's their product on the window. Yeah. Um, and then obviously this is our own window here. Yeah. And for those of you who can't see, maybe Neve will get the back there. You can see the depth of the store. So it's um, it's a, a, a we love it. So that is us for our wee road trip around Balbuffet and Stenorler. I hope you enjoyed it. We had good fun. We had great fun. Yeah, we really wanted to show you, as Sarah said earlier, our hidden gem. This is where we work. This is where our staff live and. We don't live too far. This is where we come, we walk in the park, we stay in hotels, we go and eat the hotels, we go out around the lock and it's just um, beautiful and I think it just is to show you that when you're coming to Mac and Honey's to shop there's more than that so make it a night away, stay in the hotel, have your day. If your husband's play golf, we've also the golf course up here so a lot of women come, stay in the um, hotel, husbands go play golf, they come and shop. And then as you know, there's so many places that you can go and walk and get your exercise in the next morning. So yeah, we just wanted to share that with you. It was really important to us as well. Um, so no, it was, it was lovely, wasn't yeah, it? it was really so thank you for tuning in today with myself and Sarah, and we will see you for more next week. Sarah? Bye. Bye. Bye.